So now that I've just created this activity, it's time for me to explore different ways to share this out. First of all, I can click on these three dots down here and you'll notice that I can click share here. Now, the first thing I can do is I can share this activity to my school or to the district library. So by clicking share, this is gonna make it available for other teachers to be able to, to try this out. So I'm selecting a grade that I wanna attach this to, um, a subject as well. And here you can choose school and district to go, which schools you wanna to go to, so share. And the other thing I can do is I can also get a direct link to share with teachers. And this would allow me to just send an email and put the link in there to my colleague. And then that teacher can click the link and add it into their journal. Now, as far as sending this out to my students, here's what we can do. First of all, if I want this to, for, the, for the activity to be available in their journal, I'm gonna click assign. And then I indicate which journal it goes into and I click assign and it now becomes available inside of that course. So when my students go to activities, they're gonna see the new activity inside. The final thing that I'm gonna do is make this available inside of my Canvas course. So the reason I might wanna do this is if everybody goes into my Canvas, they click on the link and it takes them directly into this activity. So I can click the three dots here once it's inside of my journal and you'll notice that there's a, a a button that says get student link. So I'm gonna click this and this is what I will copy. And now with this link, I can go into my Canvas course and I can put this inside of an announcement, a page, um, um, anywhere I really, the rich content editor comes up. So let me just try a quick announcement just so you can see what that might look like. Click here to complete seesaw activity. Maybe I want the word seesaw activity to become the link. So I'm going to press this link button here. We want it to be an external link and I will paste in the link from seesaw and click done. So now when students click this, it'll open up seesaw and they'll be able to complete this activity.